Here's the thing. Out of many advice given by Jim Ron in his 79 years lifetime, I think the most important of them is you must suffer one of two things. The pain of discipline or the pain of regret. Don't be mistaken about this. You've got no escape route. In your life, you will suffer. In your life, you will go through pains. In your life, you will cry. But you have the choice. You can choose to suffer the pains that come from being disciplined or wait for the pains that come from poverty, loneliness, depression and failure. You must suffer one of two things. The pain of discipline or the pain of regret. Tomorrow is far. I once watched a young man on TV who was doing what was obviously wrong. When he was asked how he would feel at 70, looking back at his present errors, he said, well, I still have about 50 years before I regret. This sounds so stupid, but we all do similar things in our life because we think that tomorrow is far. Don't deceive yourself. Tomorrow is now. If you are too young, go and ask people who are 50 and above. I tell you, these people didn't know how they clocked 50 because time goes so fast. I once read a quote from Robert Kiyosaki that went something like, if you know what it means to be old, you would live well when you are young. I think you should think about that and be willing to go through the pains of discipline now. The truth is, most young people don't know what it means to be old. Being old means that many of your friends have died, many are sick so they cannot leave home. Many are too old to even think of visiting you, so you are lonely. You may also have one or two health challenges, which need a lot of money to manage. There are so many worries in your old age than to still worry about money or to have regrets about missed opportunities. Why we hate discipline By nature, humans are lazy. I mean, all of us are. We love the TV, we love the TV and not the boring books. We love the social media and not the workout. We prefer the talking and complaining and never the grinding and pursuing. We love the ease and the comfort zone and not the harsh world. That's why we avoid the pains of discipline. But your life will change right now if you can think about this. Well, there's no escape route. As human, you are like a soldier. You can never avoid battle. If you don't go out to fight, the enemy will come and attack you at home and that will be 10 times more difficult. As humans, if you don't get out and be disciplined, if you don't do whatever you ought to do even if it's difficult, if you don't read those books, if you don't practice that music several hours every day, if you don't start that business even when it's tough, if you live like a coward and wish that your life should change by miracle, well, two things will happen. First, someone else will use you to pursue his own dreams and just when he finishes using you, he will dump you into poverty and frustration. Seeing Tomorrow You see, I spent most part of my last one decade going through some of the most difficult situations you can ever imagine. And guess what? I did it on purpose. I closed my eyes when I was 21 and threw myself out. I told myself, build your own company or die trying. It was not a half-hearted decision. I had no space in my heart to make excuses or wait for a government to help me. I knew what was at stake and that is my future and my life. I wanted freedom. I wanted a life of my own. I wanted a life which allows me to sleep and wake up at my own time. I wanted a life which will allow me work when I want to and with whom I want to. I didn't want a life that worries about money. I didn't want a life that hates his job and only works for money. I don't just want to leave. I wanted to leave with purpose. And to do this, I understood that I mustn't make excuses or wait for a miracle. I understood that I will have to get out, fight hard, get wounded, fall, fail and cry. I knew that to wear a crown, I had to carry a cross and I was not afraid of the pains that come with the cross because I could see tomorrow. Most young people cannot see beyond today 
and that's the reason why they complain and make excuses. If you, like me, can look around you and see old people who have died, who have lived their lives as cowards, and see the pains they are going through now, you will not be a coward. If you look around you and see people who dreamed of starting their own business all their life, but never try or gave up when they failed twice, now in their 70s, after working all their life in the jobs they hate, they are still poor, then you will understand the pains of regret. You must suffer. Yes, you must suffer one or two things, the pain of discipline or the pain of regret. Living in the world of cowards Don't ever think that you'll see some examples of courage in your primary environment because not many courageous people exist in the world. Most people are cowards and live their life avoiding difficulties. The problem about this is that it's contagious. Take for instance, I know a family whose child is a talented writer. Instead of letting this child pursue her dream of becoming a great writer, the parents still want her to study normal things every other kid is studying in school. What's happening here is simple. The parents are cowards, so they cannot encourage their kids to pursue risky dreams. They know that there is no security for anyone who pursues his dreams outside the normal route everyone knows. For example, there is security for you if you study to become an accountant because you can get a job and get paychecks for 30 years. There is security for you if you study to become a lawyer, doctor or an engineer. But there is no security for you if you want to become a musician because you may never become a famous musician and that means failure. There is no security for you if you want to become a writer, an athlete or an entrepreneur. In all these, you are taking a great risk and the natural thing to do in our society is to calm down and follow the path everyone is following. Or have plan B. Plan B means that even if you want to be an entrepreneur, go get a degree first so that if you fail in business, you can easily get a job. The problem about this way of thinking is that plan B will always distract you from plan A. I left school without any degree because I didn't want to be employable. I knew if I was employable, I could easily stop pursuing my entrepreneurial dream whenever the road becomes rough. But because I had no degree, I knew that I didn't have plan B. Because I didn't have plan B, I fought with my last blood and I won. You must suffer one of two things, the pain of discipline or the pain of regret. Which would you choose? The discipline today or the regret tomorrow?